Good morning. So today I want to share a quick poached egg with you. I am doing it two different ways, but as we go along, I will explain. So I'm adding some salt to some water and bring it not to a boil, but just to where you see in small bubbles to the bottom of the pot. Then we'll add in the egg. Click the bell for new videos. You will know when it's ready, when it floats to the surface. So once it's floating, you go right ahead and remove that egg. So I am going to cook one, like the normal poached egg where you'll have the egg running. And then the other one, I'm going to do it where it is semi hard, but not too hard. So I will show you a picture of what it looks like. So I'm going to use some freshly ground black pepper and place over my eggs. And then we're going to add some parsley and some red pepper flakes. So as I mentioned, I cooked two ways, with the egg running and with the egg semi-cooked to the center. You can totally see the difference in the two eggs. All right, so the one where you're more seeing the yolk, that's where it's more runny, and the other one is where it's semi-cooked inside. So I will cut it open and show you what it looks like. What I am talking about when I say it is semi-cooked. All right, so poached egg sounds so difficult, but it is just really simple. All you have to do is take your time when pouring that egg into the hot water. It must not be boiling, as I mentioned. Pour that and let it, let it come to the surface. Once it is to the surface, you know that it's ready. If you like it not too runny, but a little, little firm, yes, just leave it a little longer in the pot. That's all, and there you will have your poached egg. That sounds so difficult, but it's really, really easy. Yeah? So this was what I made for breakfast. All right, so let me get into what I was talking about, like cooked one way and the other way. So this one, as I mentioned, I'm having it running like the traditional poached egg. And this one, you can clearly see the inside isn't running, but it is not solid, like really solid, like what you'll have in a boiled egg or what the yolk would look like in a boiled egg. All right. And this is what it will look like if you leave it to cook a little, little more. It's not running, but it's not totally cooked. I can't say I have a favorite because I really love the two of them just the same. They're really, really enjoyable once there is enough salt and you add your extra herbs and seasoning to that man you're on like some good boiled corn thanks for watching